Welcome back to Beltmatic. It's going to be an exciting day. We're going to build a MAM, a make anything machine, or my version of it anyway. Uh, but in between episodes, I basically took a mini factory we created last time. This one up here. Copied it everywhere and made a whole bunch of different numbers out of it. As you can see, I have them copied all over the board here. I just put them down in the numbers I needed. So, for instance, like this one here. That's not one of them. Where are we at? Down here. So this one is delivering a 5 on the bottom, a 2 here, and a 2 here. So this is making 225. It's hard to see, but... So it was easy to upgrade our stuff. I basically, any number that was under 1,000 I had delivered. So you can see they're all in green. I have everything under 1,000 meeting the requirements. We're going to make a machine today that can do the thousands and even 10,000 mark. But we're going to work first on the exponential one. We unlocked that at level 20, which is what I was waiting for to build the factory. But first we had to level this up a couple times to make it speeds more ad adequate to what we need. So we're going to do a quick experiment with that. We My, my goal with the MAM is to put like a copy of it here and make it have three different, make it output three belts of the same number. So this uh, we could have two copies of it here and it would output six full belts of two numbers, or three three belts of each number. And that would give six, six belts into the hub here. And we could copy that to the, each of the quadrants and create a man that delivers up to, I guess it'd be only eight different numbers, but it would be delivering three full belts of them at a time, so they should meet the requirements pretty quickly. So we'll get to that in a second. We're going to first do a little experiment down here. I notice I need 64 for the upgrade for the exponential one. So I'm going to try putting a 0 in my 100 spot right here and see if I can put a 6 down here and a 4 here. If that'll give me 64. I think that should work in the factory. But I'm not sure you can create zeros. So let's try to find that. Let's just do 1 minus 1. I'm hoping that spits out zeros, which it does. So in this design here, I would, I would want the hundreds to be zero. And this will work that way in case I have a number that has like 504. I would want the tens to be zero. So let's see this one right here. Let's kind of cut that. Grab the belt here. Also, I turned on this belt feature, so let me show you. You click and drag it, it makes an L shape, so it's really handy. That was in the options menu here. Use L shape placement belt, so super nice feature. I use it quite often. It's a little pain about when you want to draw a straight line, but. So that's zero, this is six, we would want this to be four. My four is up here, so we can just grab a belt from here. And this is where it's perfect, you just do this, do this, and that's four. So once this clears out, it should be printing 64s. So it is creating 64s, so zero does work. It just adds zero to 60. If you didn't put a number in here, the 60 would just get stuck. So that does work. That's great. So we can make our, our anything machine. I'm going to do three belts at a time of the number, like I said before. But first off, let's get an exponential factor, factory going so we can copy and paste something. It looks kind of similar to the subtraction machines. So we'll just do... Really, just do the same thing as this. Six, nine, do 12 to start with, I guess. So, super simple. So, let's get it started on our MAM. I'm going to just start down here. My goal is to use most of these numbers in here. The farther you get away from the thing, the bigger the numbers get. Like over here, we have 32. I don't plan on using those numbers, I don't think. So I'm going to build it pretty close to the hub here. I think we're going to start right in here somewhere. 
So the first thing we'll need to do is we're going to have our tens delivered from the wild. So instead of bringing a belt of six and a belt of fours to make ten, I'm going to find stuff in the in the wild out here that makes ten and like this nine plus one. I'll just put a factory here making nine plus ones and bring in three belts of tens. All right, real quick, we meant the 64, so we need 198. We're going to delete this factory here. So this is just going to show you how easy it was to do this. So all I have to do is find some tens. This will work here. Basically, I need one. Had to reorganize my fives there. Anyway, so we have tens coming in now. Five, five, and f fives, fives, and fives. That is tens. So all I needed is 198. So, like, I can grab this here. 100. 90. Eight. So that was this. That's how easy it was. 198. So... The man that we're making should be even easier. All right, so I'm going to have the, these things dotted all over the map. These are just 10 boxes. They are three factories making 10. Hopefully 10 of these is enough. But that gives me three full belts of 10s for now. So we'll have a whole bunch of these. We're going to need 10s like crazy. So that's the bad part of my design is it requires a lot of 10s. But let's go down to the... I think we're just going to start it somewhere down in here. So I guess let's just start laying some stuff out. We're going to need, the first one we're going to need is three belts of the singles number. So the singles number is like one through nine. So 59, it would be the nine. So that's really, that's all there is to that one. The next one up, we would need th three rows of 10 coming in. So that would be three rows of 10. And 10 times the number, so if I'm doing 59, this would be a 5 that I would have to bring in. So three fives. The first couple should be pretty easy. Famous last words. But this will be the 10 times the number. I could probably make this more compact. Just start laying stuff out here. This is incoming. So the, it doesn't matter what order they're in, 10 times 5 or 5 times 10 is still 50. So we'll need three of these. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So let's grab three of these. We can put them pretty compact. And then we just have to do the numbers so that they come out somewhat nicely. We're going to make the 10s be coming in at the top and we're going to make the fives coming in at the bottom. I'm just using fives as an example. So that we always know the tens are on the top, fives are on the bottom. So this would be here, here, and here. And the fives would be down here. That's about as clean looking as I can get it. The tens are coming up here. Looks like we have some directional issues. And then the I don't know how I messed that up. So the tens are coming up top, the fives are coming down below here. So it kind of separates them out, makes them look somewhat clean. I don't know, there's a lot of crisscrossing, but that's just the nature of the way it's going to be. And we can just probably just group these inputs together, or the outputs together. So that would be the, you know, 10 through 100 coming out, or 10 through 99, I should say. So this would be the, the 50, the 60, the 70, the 80. This will be just the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Finally, we'll just need something to add these together. This is just a copy of the TENS factory. We're going to put it there for now. We're going to organize it once we get some more layers to the factory. 
So the bad part is that it'll be hard to expand this. I'll just have to stretch this out, maybe leave some room for extra machines. But I think that if we keep up with our upgrades, we should be good with 10, 10 units or 10 machines per line. So let's do the next layer, which would be 100s. So if we did 159, this would be the 100 portion of it. So what we'll need here is three copies of our exponential factory. That'll get us, this will be, we'll have three lanes of 10 coming in. So this will be 10 to the second power, which will be 100. So three lanes of 10s, three lanes of 2s, because 10 times 10 to the second power is 100. And we'll need a third number coming in that we will just basically copy this factory. It'll come down here. And that'll, so this will be 100s coming out. And we'll have another three, three belts coming in. So we'll make the twos be up here. This will be another three numbers coming in. Coming over to here, so this, this will put out 100 over here. This will put out 100, 200, 300, 400, whatever number we pipe in here. So if we pipe in a one, it'll stick to 100. If I pipe in a four over here, it'll be 400. So then we'll just add this down to here. So we'll need another one of these. I'm just laying it out right now so we know what we have and then we'll have to organize it so it looks good. So this, this machine will add this one plus this one, right? And then this one will have to add, we'll have to figure out how to do it so I can create a chain of it, but Really, this one would have to be added to this one, and this one would have to be added to this one. So really, we can start laying this out nicely now because every layer after this will be exactly the same as this layer, because this will be tens and twos. So the next layer will just be tens and threes, which would be 10 to the third power, so that would be a thousand. And then 10 to the fourth power, if I'm correct, it would be you know the next layer. 10 to the fifth would be the next layer. And we can just stack layers on top of it like that. So let's lay this out so it looks somewhat like a machine. And here is the masterpiece. It is an adding machine. We have, it looks pretty nice. The These things here, bordered in yellow, are my inputs. I just highlight them so they stick out. These ones up here, these and these will never change. So we'll insert 10s here and whatever number this is, 3 here. So that'll make 10,000 or 1,000, and that'll never change. So it looks pretty good, then it just adds the results. So we'll have to prime it with zeros because it's meant to add the top to whatever's here. So if we put zeros in here, it'll add zero to 10,000. And then this number will be added to this number. And this number here will be added to this number here. And so on until we get our final result on the bottom. So in that next step, we'll have to bring all our numbers in, which is going to be a little chaotic. Try to keep it looking nice, but I think I'll bring the tens up from here, and then I'll make a row of zero through nine numbers, belts coming in here so we can just pull off what we need. All right, the scope of this thing went a little out of control. It's a lot more than I anticipated, but we went, I went all the way up to a million. So I don't know if I'll need numbers that big, but I figured while I was building it, I might as well do it. So it's quite huge. I've got these numbers making zero down here. I just did six belts of each number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can bring up to nine in. I can actually bring more in, I guess, if we needed to. The only bad part is the numbers I have right now requested are only in the thousands. So I'm going to have to put zeros here, here, and here, which I'm going to have to do some kind of zero array here because I don't have that many zeros to feed in there. But we're going to hook it up. We're going to try the first one at 2,669. 2, See if we can get the exponential leveled up. All right, it's time to start letting numbers flow and see what happens. See what we need to adjust. I'm going to insert zeros here because I don't have any 10,000s right now. They're all 2,000, 3,000. 
So we'll just move these zeros up as we do it instead of inserting zeros over here for now. It should work. So that's zeros for that. Now let's see, let's do, I guess let's just start down here. We're going to do 2,669 first. So let's go ahead and do this. This will be easy. This is just letting the nines flow. Really not much to that. They just come over here and go into the adding machine. So next up is 660. So we want some tens flow in here. I have a whole bunch of tens. They were all done up here. So this is tens here, tens here, tens here, lots of tens. Let's let them go three at a time. Kind of fun to watch them fill up. But they should come all the way down here. We need uh, sixes here. We can let these flow. It's kind of satisfying watching them fill the system. The bad part is when we change out numbers, it's going to take a while to grind out. All, all I have to do is change these belts out so they'll. These won't have to empty this. This will stay tens forever. So this should be 60. Come the first set of sixes. And we are getting 60s out. That's good. So that should come over to here. And that's not going to do anything because we don't have the hundreds done. So the hundreds is another six. It was 2,669. So let's go ahead and add it. Other one's in. And we'll need these other set of tens here. Oh, it's kind of creepy watching that. So that is sends. Then we need twos here. I kind of pre random so I could just show you it filling. Here come the tens into the first exponential ones. First time I've been using those. It's not going to work till the twos get here though. Oh, and we actually need to enter, let these flow too. So this is zero. This is ten to the second, so we need twos flowing up here. And we're going to need these threes as well. Filling the system over here. And like these twos will never have to change. This is just for this to get to the 1000s. The only that'll change will be these ones right here. It looks like we need to release some more tens. I'm glad I labeled these because otherwise there's just going to be belts everywhere. So this should be it. This should get the system flowing. There is 2,000 right there. Which is exactly what we want. 2,669. These should be 600s. These should be 69 or 60s and this should be 9. So it should be working. And there we go. So it is working. Three full belts of 2,669. So these upgrades should go pretty quickly. We need 7,000 of them. But let me do a quick calculation. 7,000. Uh, 
It's still going to take 19 minutes to do these with three full belts of them. So, it's not, not a short time. But we can let these flow. I need to... So there you go. And now next time all you got to do is chop off the sixes and the twos and put down the next grab numbers from here. Just insert them into these belts and we'll be, you know, for instance, when we need 3,820, all I have to do is grab the three, the eight, the two, and the zero. So I did my calculation slightly wrong. The 17 or 19 minutes was for if it was just delivering one belt. So it's actually delivering three. So it'd only take about six minutes to complete this. Uh, if we bring this up, you can see 2,669 delivering at 18 per second. So that's pretty awesome. And I can easily deliver any number at 18 per second now up to the million. So 9,999,999. So as long as I don't go up to the 10 million mark, I can deliver them at 18 per second. So if I get ambitious, I'll copy this down and put another one down here so that we can just do another three three belts of a different number into there. I would just have to, you know, redo these one through nines and find a whole bunch of tens and put them in. But I don't know, we'll see if I get to that. But that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. So a quick update as to where I'm at. I have delivering these four numbers. I'm delivering them at 24.3 per second. So you can see I've basically maxed out my upgrades. These are the upgrades here. These two haven't really been maxed out. So these only go up by looks like 0 0.01 now per second. So we can upgrade them, but it's really not going to have much effect on our game. This one goes up by 0.1, so that one might be worth upgrading. You know, we could get a 10, 12 per second. That would be pretty awesome. And this one, we could get two more belts out of a number. We can go up to 12 belts per number. So we might upgrade these two. I have copied our setup over to here. I got one. This is the original one. I've got another setup down here, basically the same copy. One over here, and one over here. So we can do four no different numbers, each at 24.3 per second. Now we actually have room in the hub. We could actually double this current layout. I have each system I have that delivers three full belts of numbers. So I could actually copy this four more times and bring in, you know, eight different numbers if I wanted to. But that's just where I'm at right now. I don't know, we'll see if I keep going, but that's going to do it. Thanks for watching.